basketball fans, Chris Terrell here with RotoPros.com to bring you another DFS NBA video. Before we get into tonight's huge 12-game slate uh, with some picks, some new stuff on the sheet, I want to tell you a little bit about RotoPros. So go over to RotoPros.com. This is where you're going to find our free content. Um, we've got articles for almost every single sport up here. We've got a short video that you can watch showing everything about our RotoPros community chat and to get into that community chat and access to our cheat sheets, one-on-one -on -one coaching and much more, click on that sign up button in the top right hand corner. We have a weekly, monthly and yearly subscriptions. We have a free trial going on all three of those right now. Um, as well as if you use promo code RP50, you're going to get 50% off your first purchase after your trial is up. And that gives you access, like I said, to our Slack chat, to our coaches, one-on-one -on -one coaching with those coaches. We have channels set up for all the sports that we cover. Right now we got NBA, NHL, soccer, that's EPL, a little bit of FA Cup action in there as well, college basketball, uh, MLB when it comes back. Um, PGA, NASCAR is coming back in a couple weeks. If there's a sport out there, we pretty much cover it with cheat sheets and analysis. So join our winning team today. With that, let's jump into tonight's action. I'll jump right into the sheet here. We've got 12 games. It's a massive slate. Um, NHL and NBA have kind of been mixing things up with like one or two game slates followed by 13, 14 game slates. It's been absolutely insane week. The good news is they alternate night to night so that we can really keep up with things. So I decided to put together a video, first of all, to show you some things that I've added. Um, so one of the things here is the defenses to target against. We've got every team here. We've got pace, defensive efficiency, um, and then we get into defense versus fantasy points versus point guard, shooting guard, guards overall, small forward, power forward, forwards overall and then centers. Now these numbers that you see are plus minus league average. So for pace, it is how many possessions uh, a team is going to get. Um, defensive efficiency overall, that is per 100 possessions. So how many points a team gives up per 100 possessions. So for instance, Sacramento gives up 9.2 more points per 100 possessions than league average, whereas the Lakers, um, they give up 6.3 points less than league average. Um, when you're looking at per 100 possessions. So that's an elite defense. This is a terrible defense. Anything in green here is defenses that you're going to want to target. Red means um, the opposite, obviously. Okay, so looking at fantasy points then. Fantasy points is points per game. Fantasy points per game given up to a certain position. So for instance, Minnesota gives up 12.6 more fantasy points per game to point guards than the league average um, 16 and a half points per game more than league average to guards overall so that's how you can kind of look and analyze um, all the teams here in one big picture um, if you create your own copy of the cheat sheets and want to start sorting columns or you know making your own tabs to do some your own analysis you can definitely sort this different ways you can sort by team you can sort by pace I like to just sort by um, defense low to high here just to show the bad defenses at the top and then kind of dig into which positions those teams are the worst at. Like I said, for instance, with Minnesota, we're looking to target guards. Um, they're a lot better against forwards. So that's one thing that I added. Um, if you're fairly new to Rotopros or my sheets, um, the tiers here is something I've added to the sheet. So we've got uh, the, all the tiers that are come on DraftKings. have a rankings on here later in the day. Team odds, Vegas totals, implied points for that player, um, defense versus position, and then we got minutes projection and DK points projection here as well to kind of help you out do some research with tiers. So those are the new things I've added to the sheet. So let's go back to the team matchups tab. A couple games that stand out here in terms of fantasy. Uh, the Brooklyn-Atlanta game. Brooklyn's a big favorite here, minus 7.5. There is going to be a risk for blowout, of course. Um but it's got a 235 and a half total. It's also hard with Brooklyn right now with Harden, Durant, and Irving to try and, you know, pick which guy's going to go off on which night. All of their floors have dropped dramatically, and the price hasn't quite adjusted to where they should be yet um, because there's three elite players and they're on the floor a lot together. So we have an, uh, the other games that have got some high totals here. Minnesota at Golden State, uh, that's the late game. Uh, Golden State's minus seven and a half favorite, two twenty-seven and a half total, two twenty-six and a half total in the Washington New Orleans game. Um, New Orleans is seven and a half point home favorite as Washington is on a back-to-back -back here. 
those are a couple things I'm looking at in terms of defensive efficiency. Uh, Sacramento, like I mentioned, we may want to target them. The game's a little bit lower, but uh, Orlando versus Sacramento makes a lot of sense. It's also a pace-up game for them uh, as well. And then going down a little bit, the other defenses we want to target. Again, Washington, we can target some Wash or sorry, New Orleans versus uh, Washington can definitely target that game. If it doesn't turn into a blow, there could be some excellent fantasy scores coming from that game. And then Minnesota as well. So those are kind of three teams I'm really looking at. So when we dig into the players, I'm going to go over. Um, so starting lineups, you want to see projected lineups. These are going to change throughout the day along with the minutes projections. As the lineups start coming in, as we get closer to lock, I come in here and I start checking the players that are starting off. What that also does is when you start going into the all players tabs, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center tabs, and looking at your players, you're going to see on the left of every player um, this pulls from that starting lineup tab. So as they're starting, they're going to change to an S so that you can tell quickly when you're going through your research and going through all the players here and deciding on a player, if a player is starting, if he's projected to start, or if he's not. So projected is P, starting is S. Uh, if there's nothing in there, like an NA, if you're seeing this NA, that just means they are not on the starting lineups tab. That gets updated throughout the day and as lineups come in. So you can always check this tab to see who's starting, or you can kind of go through uh, the player list and see that as well. So we'll jump into the All Players tab here. Um, so we've got a huge slate, so I'm just going to kind of give you about four or five plays that kind of stand out to me right away that I'm kind of looking to target as my, as I guess, my core for the night. Um, I'll kind of adjust throughout the day. Obviously, news is very important. Um, one big thing if you're playing DFS NBA, you have to be, um, you don't necessarily have to be in chat, but you need to be paying attention to the news. So if you're on like a, um, on Twitter and you have a list set up with all your NBA, you need to be following that closely the last hour, especially that last half an hour. One player ruled out that maybe wasn't expected to can change the whole dynamic of how you build your lineup. So you need to pay attention to that. We're in chat um, that last hour, half an hour, even leading up to the final games of the night. I'm in there entering lineups um, and adjusting minutes. Um, Kenny's in there as well giving his thoughts leading up to lock he's got his skeletons posted about 20 to 40 minutes before lock he's got his picks on the sheet so the picks that you're going to see on the sheet here my picks and my picks usually come early in the day um, but I will update them throughout the day like I said as news comes in will be on the all players and Chris's picks tab Kenny then comes in in the afternoon and he fills out his picks um, under the point under the individual position tabs and then he posts his thoughts in the Slack chat, um, kind of overall strategy on the slate, um, as well as some players that he's looking at targeting. And then as news comes in, players that are going to benefit from that as well. So we've got a lot going on in Slack. Very important to get in there, grab a free trial today, and join our winning team. Um, so let's jump into the picks here. First of all, Russell Westbrook sits out the second game of back-to-backs. So that is great news for Bradley Beal. Um, just kind of looking at some usage splits that I've been uh, putting together on a separate cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Um, you also, I do some screenshots and put this in chat as well. I'm turning it into a kind of a tool that you can play with, but pretty much what we see is when Westbrook is off the floor, Beal's getting about a 4.1% 4, 4 uh, usage boost. And he's actually going from, on uh, DraftKings, he's going from 1.45 to 1.64 points per minute. DK points per minute, and for FanDuel, 1.41 to 1.6 fantasy points per minute. So that's one place I'm looking at spending up tonight. They are an underdog here against New Orleans, but if they're going to keep it close, it's going to be uh, with Beal's shot. So if he's on, um, I definitely like that opportunity for him tonight. And New Orleans is 20th in defense versus guards. So I definitely like that there. Going down, another uh, the point guard I like the most tonight is going to be Steph Curry um, in that mid-9K range on both sides. Again, they're the 7.5-point favorites here, so there's a chance of a blowout in this game as well. Um, but if they're going to get there, I think Curry is going to be very important in that. What I really like is Minnesota is absolutely terrible against guards, absolutely terrible defensively, and uh, this is a, both teams are above average in pace. So it's, it's a pace-up matchup here as well. So I can see Curry easily hitting his... Uh, Hitting his floor and with if the game stays close, I see uh, upside here for him as well. Like he's played 31, 35, 27, 34 minutes the last four games and put up 17, 19, 18, and 21 shots. Um, there's a lot of usage here um, in terms of those shots. 
of those 21 shots, 12 were threes. Of the 18, 10 were threes. Of the 14, 14 were threes. So there's huge upside here just with that three-point shot alone. He's shooting like 48, uh, right around 50% actually over those last uh, four games in terms of three points. So there's just a really nice floor here. He's got 45 plus points in each of those last four games and five of the last six. So that's like a, a 5x floor right there with upside of like 6x, 6 to 7x. So definitely love Curry tonight. Um, the other player I'm looking at targeting for a pay up is uh, Nikola Vucevic. I mentioned Orlando versus Sacramento. They are the worst defensive team in the league. It's a little bit of a pace up matchup. Um, for Sacramento, so I like that there as well. Um, in terms of, we'll just go over here and look at the individual matchup for a second. Do that by searching there. Um, so yeah, Vucevic is 21 or 28 percent usage. He's a plus offensive rating, so 9.7 uh, points per hundred possessions, better than league average. Um, he's going up against. Rashawn Holmes for the most part here he is a negative defensive player so that even the individual matchup stands out uh, for Vucevic here I just really like the spot it's not a great total at 222 but the game is expected to stay close which is great it's a good matchup um, both on the team pace defensive efficiency and on the individual fantasy points versus um, centers when we're looking at that so he just kind of checks all the boxes and is down in that uh, low 9k range and just kind of looking at his uh, recent performances he's been out there 35 plus minutes in six straight starts um, and put up 45 to 60 fantasy points in that time so I mean that's just an amazing floor it's extreme consistency um, from Vooch so I'm definitely looking at that Going down and looking at a few players kind of in the value range to kind of tie it all together. I've got three. Um, first of all, Bledsoe, um, New Orleans here going up against Washington. Again, that's a game seven and a half. They're seven and a half point favorites New Orleans is. I think that game can stay close at least until halfway through the fourth if it's going to be a blowout. I don't think it's going to be like guys sitting in the third or anything like that at all. Um, but the, the matchup stands out. Washington is terrible against guards um they're terrible team defensively and it's a huge pace up matchup here for new orleans going up against washington so i really like that he hits on all three of those and just kind of you know if we take out that game where he got um uh, i believe he had some injury difficulty against utah um you take that out and he's averaged 28 and a half dk points per game over his last nine so that is an excellent floor at $5,500 on FanDuel, $5,800 on DK, that sub-6K range. Um, he definitely fits the bill tonight. Next up, Mikhail Bridges. Um, just let me jump over here. Booker's expected to miss the game, so that definitely helps. But just looking at his numbers, even without that here, um, just jumping in here, looking at his game logs, he's gone 31, 34, 41, 36 minutes over the last four games. The usage isn't there. He's only got double-digit shot attempts in one of those games the first game against Denver he went eight for 15 other than that he's been nine seven and nine shots per game um but three of five of those three to five of those come from three-point range so he's getting those three-point shots he's shooting about right around that 50 percent range not getting the volume of Curry but you know kind of that accuracy from the three-point range uh where he really contributes though is the secondary stat is is rebounds he's getting five to ten rebounds per game we can count on 10 to 20 real points um, so in terms of fantasy, he's been 34 and a half, 20, 25, 51, 22. He's shot over 20 DK points per game in every game. He's been in there this season at 5,300. That's just an amazing floor. If you're looking at 22, 23 points, that's not going to get you there in GPP, but he's also got 45, 50 point upside as well, especially if, you know, especially if we're going to be looking at Devin Booker, um, out tonight in this matchup as well so everything hits there for him and then finally um i like hardaway as well if we it depends on the news obviously on finney smith richardson and cleaver um who are in the covid protocol but if they're all out hardaway is going to be a must play here uh at six at 5200 on fanduel 5800 on dk and then going down to cole anthony um as well he's been really good averaging right around 30 minutes per game over the last 11 games so he's starting to get that time he's averaging 28 dk points per game over his last eight um 
and I mean that's just another amazing 5x plus floor um, for for a player kind of in that 5k range so those are the plays I'm looking at tonight. Like I said, if you're not a Rotopros member, get over to rotopros.com, get your free trial today. Use promo code RP50 to get 50% off your first payment after trial and join our winning team and let's let's get it. Let's uh, let's get some green screens tonight. Good luck everyone. Have a good night.